Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're talking about a couple motorcycle boots. We're looking at the TCX AirTech Evo and the CD Aria. And if you're looking at these boots, uh, you may know that they are direct competitors with one another and that they're kind of each, uh, well together, they're both unique uh, relative to most of the other motorcycle boots that are out there. So what these are is a fully waterproof Gore-Tex uh, riding boot that is suitable for warm weather riding, so spring, summer, fall, um, and what kind of separates them from, from other typical waterproof boots is that they use a full mesh and textile construction. So that gives the opportunity for the Gore-Tex to really breathe and vent out any, any warm air, water vapor, uh, sweat, things like that. So they'll work well in hot weather, warm weather, um, and still retain that full waterproof protection from the Gore-Tex. And the similarities don't end there. I mean, really these boots are, you know, if you go feature by feature, they're almost identical. Um, even the aesthetic of the boots and the construction, they're, they're hard to tell apart. In terms of fit, these are both uh, 43 European sizing, which is a nine and a half. And for me, that corresponds well with other, other footwear that I use. I uh, typically wear a nine and a half and everything, and these both fit very well. And between them, they fit almost identically. If you're wearing one on one foot and the other on the other foot, I wasn't able to tell the difference. Um, so, and then and other similarities, they're both basically the same price. I think right now on Revzilla, the CDs are uh, 250, and then the TCX are 260. So $10 price difference. Uh, the CDs weigh, I think, an ounce more than these. Um, this was one pound eight ounces. This is one pound nine ounces. So basically the same weight. Um, there were two differences that I, I thought may be an issue uh, based on the Revzilla video for the CD Aria. And the two kind of dings that they mentioned against it are that it doesn't have a CE certification and that it doesn't have any elastic relief for the zipper entry which would make the boot harder to put on. Um, so I got my hands on both of these boots to kind of compare and see which one I like better. And when I got the CDs and I was taking a look at them, I saw that they actually are CE certified. There's a tag inside that shows the CE certification. And not only are they CE certified, they actually have a higher rating than the TCXs. So there are three categories of um, testing that that effect or that kind of play into the CE certification for footwear and I forget offhand what each of those are but they have to do with abrasion resistance and impact resistance and rigidity um, but the TCX had and, and there's two levels you can either be a one or a two in each of those three categories uh, so where the TCX gets a one two one rating the CD gets a two 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 so twos across the board so this actually has a higher CE certification than the TCX. So I was kind of I was happy to see that um, that makes both boots even more similar because they both carry that CE certification. And the other issue, which is a real minor one, uh, was that they uh, on the Revzilla video they mentioned that there is no elastic relief for the zipper. Uh, there actually is. It's in this little cut right here. Uh, there's an elastic piece of elastic here that allows the zipper to kind of stretch when you're putting the boot on it's really easy to miss it, and CD doesn't advertise the fact uh, that it has that. It, it, they don't even advertise the fact that they're CE certified. So it'd be hard to know, uh, which is why I wanted to put this video out there. So, that, I mean, that's kind of it for the similarities. You can see they, they're almost identical in construction. They have the same features. They both use Gore-Tex. Um, they both fit the same, they both look almost identical. I can show you the soles here too. Um, so in the end, it's, it's, it's a good thing because you could order each of these boots, you could pick which one that you like the look of better, and I think you'll be, you'll be just as happy. You don't need to worry about making a bad decision. Um, but there were a few little kind of minor differences between them that affected my decision. Um, the TCX in its favor has a very rigid shin protector here. The CD, it's padded and you know this material is not really flexible but you can bend 
the shin material. So if you're worried about shin protection, about hitting your foot pegs or something like that, then uh, TCX does have a fully rigid protector here uh, that'll provide a little bit more protection for your shin. The TCX also seems to have slightly bulkier uh, ankle protection on both sides, on the inside and the outside. The CD does have it. There, you can feel that there are rigid plates inside. They just don't feel quite as bulky. Um, the, C, the CD does have the higher safety certification, so I'm not sure if it's actually a safer boot or not. Um, but there you go. It's just some extra information. Um, the thing that I didn't like about the TCX, and ultimately this is what drove me to choose the, the CD to keep, is the entry system. So on the CD, you have this Velcro, small Velcro, Velcro closure on top, and then basically a full-length zipper. And then you have the Gore-Tex membrane that comes up all the way. And this is a breathable material here, so this, this part of the Gore-Tex can breathe just like the rest of it. Um, the zipper is easy to operate, despite the fact that I had that little snag earlier. Um, and then you just have the small Velcro that kind of seals it up at the top. The TCX, however, has a massive piece of Velcro. It's about two to three inches wide and runs the whole length of the boot. So taking these things off is kind of a pain. You know, you got to deal with all of that Velcro. The zipper comes up about halfway, and then it's got a, another Velcro tab on it. And I'm not sure why they chose to use the the uncomfortable Velcro as the Velcro pull, because they could have just as easily used the softer Velcro material for this, um, and it would still stick to this Velcro to hold the zipper up, but this is pretty uncomfortable to, to grab onto and pull. And then when you open this up, the the Gore-Tex lining doesn't come up as high as it does on the CD. It comes up, you know, just up to here, which should be high enough because your pants will cover that anyway. Um, but then I was kind of surprised to see that this material that covers the Gore-Tex on the TCX actually seems to be waterproof. So this chunk of the material is not going to breathe as well as it will over here. I don't know if that's really an issue since this whole area is covered by Velcro anyway, um, but just the difference that I noted. So then to close this back up, pull the zipper up, you can stick the Velcro zipper pull, and then you kind of got to work this Velcro back down to close this whole thing up. So not a huge deal. I wouldn't say that that's any reason to steer you away from the TCX, um, but between the two, I found the, the CD just to be an easier system to operate, and so easier to get in and out of, so I like this one better. Um, I'll have an article, or I'll link in the description to an article with a bit more uh, technical information and anything that I forgot to mention in the video, so you can check that out. Uh, but hopefully that makes it a little bit easier to uh, decide if you're looking at both of these boots. Thanks for watching.